Hello everyone, this is Ashish Sunny from Innovate Yourself. Welcome back to my channel. Once again, I am back with a very good and a very interesting topic for you guys to learn and understand. And this time we are back with a new series for you. So in this series, I will be taking a domain and the web hosting from the domain racer. So they actually provide a very good service at the very low and the affordable price. So you can go with them. And in the next upcoming videos, we will be using their service to use and to create your own websites and the websites that we will be creating that will be created with respect to the WordPress. So I will be using the WordPress websites and I will be showing you everything from the scratch so that you can learn and understand that how you can build your website, how you can upload that website, how you can host that website to some web hosting service, which we will be taking in our case from the domain racer. So that's all that we will be learning in the upcoming videos. So let me explain you like what exactly we will be doing in our today's session. So in our today's session, I will be uh, showing you like how you can create a university website and how you can host that on the web hosting and uh, how you can use the WordPress for that. So that's all that we will be covering in today's session. And I hope you're going to love this content provided by me. So right now you can click on the subscribe button so that you will get the notification for the upcoming videos. So Let's not waste time over here and let's start with the actual process that we will be learning in today's session. So, so let's do that. All right. So now let's go to the browser and let's go to the website domainracer.com and you will see like this is a website from where we will be purchasing the web hosting and the domain. So firstly, you need to log into the server so that we can actually use the services. So right now I will go with the uh, login page and over here, uh, if you don't have the login credentials, you can click on the register and you can uh, go for it and you can register your domain name and your web hosting. So right now over here, uh, I will provide all the details asked from us to me, like uh, the first name, last name, company name, your email ID, your password, your address and the city and everything. So you need to fill up all these details. And once you will fill up this detail, you will get your uh, account ready so that uh, you can actually uh, start working with it, with the domain name and the web hosting, or let's say you can actually uh, get that account and you can then purchase the domain name and the web hosting, which I will be using. And I will be showing you in this web, uh, video uh, for uh, creating your first WordPress website. So that is what we will be doing in here. So right now uh, let's fill up all the details and let's uh, move ahead. All right, so now you can see my account is created and over here, whatever things I have right now, it is showing to me services is zero domain is zero and the rest of the things are also zero. So right now over here, what I need to do is I just need to uh, like see like what are the different menus I am having right now. And uh, after that, you can click on the services. You can see as I don't have anything. So that's why I don't have anything uh, over here with me. So on the top, you can see we have an option web hosting. So I will be going to that. So just click on it. And over here, you will see like uh, you can get the plans for it. So we are having four different plans. One is the basic one, then personal, then silver and the advanced one. So in the basic plan, uh, you will get it for 59 rupees per month. So it's an in Indian currency, right? So in the basic pack, you can host a single website and you can get a one GB of SSD space, 10 email IDs, five GB bandwidth and uh, light speed. But if we go for the personal one in that we can host a single website, you can get an unlimited storage, unlimited email ID, unlimited bandwidth and everything. So you are having a very good uh, plan over there. So that's the reason I will go for it. And uh, when I will click on this, you will see it is asking me for the domain name. So right now I can uh, enter any domain name which I want from here. So if in case the domain which you're looking for that is existing, it will show you like, yes, you can uh, opt for it. Otherwise it will show you the suggestions, right? So currently you can see the congratulations ashishani.xyz is available. 
so that means i can go with it so i can move ahead and i can uh, work with it right so right now the option uh, i have got over here and uh, after all what i can do is i can simply click on continue so it will take me to the next page and over here it, it will tell me like what exactly i'm purchasing right so this is the billing cycle which i will be uh, going for right so the this is the personal plan which i have chosen now you can click on continue and inside this uh, you don't have to select anything you simply click on continue so this is the final thing final checkout a page where i can check out so i have two packages one is personal and one is the domain registration so i have that so i will proceed further and i will do the billing for that so once i will do the billing for that i will have the domain name and the web hosting so that i can use them to further proceed with the wordpress website right so that's all that i can have so this is the total subtotal for this right so from here i can directly click on complete order and i can continue to that so wait for it it will take you to the payment page or payment gateway yeah and over here just select the option select the payment information through which you just want to pay your uh, bill right so you can select the credit card debit card net banking cash card paytm wallet upi emi and pay later so have many options over here so whichever option you want to select just select that and accordingly just make the payment right so just make the payment and you're good to go right and once you're done with it go back to the domain racer website and uh, over there we will start logging with the actual email id that we have right so we'll log in again and you will see that you will have the services with you now here i will log in again and i will fill up the details and i will fill up the password and then i will just simply click on login now i'm inside it and you can see on the top i am having one service and along with that one service there is an option right now just click on this active so you will make it active and uh, you can uh, proceed further right so that means i have the services i have purchased them successfully and now i can start with the wordpress website i can start installing that thing right so right now when you will click on this domain name you will see that uh, you will be redirected to this page but uh, when i should click on this link or let's say when i should uh, go to this website it should not show me like this instead it should show me some website where i can work on it right so i don't have that right now so let's see how to do that so for that on the right side you can see in the actions the first option is login to c panel you need to click on that and it will redirect you to the c panel right and on the c panel as you can see on your screen you have multiple options you have email you have files you have database you have advanced features you have many more features over here right so you just uh, you can check them and accordingly when you will simply scroll down when you will actually scroll down to the bottom you will see and in fact if you can't see you can directly search for it that uh, there is an option with the name wordpress you have the wordpress option just click on that it will redirect you to other page where you will be given an option to install it right so you can click on this install now and over here you need to choose the protocol you have to select https and in the directory just remove this wp and uh, select the latest version for the wordpress and over here you can see like uh, it is asking you for the account or let's say the admin account so you can simply added the admin username and the password over here so that uh, for the next time when you will log in you will be logging in with these credentials right and accordingly you have the advanced option where you can set the database i don't have to touch that also you can select the theme over here so i i don't want to do it right now i will do it later on and after that uh, you can enter the email id for the installation of the details and just click on install right so yeah you can see i'm done with it congratulations the software was installed successfully so what it means it means we have successfully installed wordpress 
on to the website or let's say on to the domain name and the web hosting which we have purchased so that is successfully done and now we can verify that by going or let's say by clicking on the links provided to us so you can see https colon double slash ashu s3868 dot uh, web hosting uh, india dot racing so this is the domain name which i'm having so now i will click on it you can see previously when i was going to this website it was showing me that cgi bin or something but this time it's a hello world program provided by wordpress so this keeps on changing every time when you will actually work with it right so this is about this and uh, secondly we have this administrative url so this is the URL where you can go and you can uh, make the modifications to your website, right? So it will redirect you to the dashboard of WordPress website. So here you can actually uh, like do the modifications of everything. So if you are able to go to this website or let's say on that URL, if you can uh, redirect to this page, that simply means you have installed WordPress successfully and now when you will uh, move ahead, you can do whatever you want. You can install the plugins, you can uh, edit your website, you can select the theme, you can do whatever you want. So you have n number of options now and you can go with it. And if you are unable to uh, achieve this thing or let's say if you are getting any errors regarding the installation of this WordPress website onto the web hosting and the domain, so you can leave a comment below in the comment section so that I can help you out for doing this stuff. So that is all about it. So now let's uh, start with the selecting of a theme and uh, let's try to create a website as we discussed in the beginning of this video. So as I mentioned, like we will be creating a university website. So for that, we'll go to the appearance and in there we'll select the themes and over here you can see like we have a few themes already over here or you can say already installed. So we'll create a new one by clicking on add new for it. So over here you can see we have so many themes available but uh, i just want to go with university so i'll type that and over here you can see that i'm getting an option let's say i'm getting multiple options like which theme i can select so if in case you are getting confused like how to uh, select that so you can simply click on this preview option and uh, you can move inside and you can see how the website looks like after you will start working on it and accordingly you can select the themes right so on the top you can see you have the arrows left and right so with that buttons you can select whichever you want and if you really like that theme and if you feel like that uh, theme is absolutely okay for me so you can click on that and you can install it by clicking on the button on the top so you can see you have an option called install so you can just click on this install and you can uh, install that particular theme right so you can check that and select accordingly right so in my case i will go with this one i will go with this one creative university right so it seems like like this website is okay for me so i can go with it i will click on install so it will start installing it. So wait for it to install completely. Okay, so it is installed completely. Now you can go back and uh, you can simply see like what are the different themes you have. Now these are those themes which are installed and before activating it, you have an option for live preview you can click on this live preview and uh, you can accordingly see the customization you can customize this uh, website and accordingly uh, first customize it then you can activate it so it's not necessary that you have to activate it directly and then only you can make the modification but you can do it prior for that right and uh, now over here what you can do is if you are unable to find like uh, how to change it you can see this pencil option just click on that and it will take you directly inside and uh, as i selected this logo page so i will click on this logo and i will select a image for that right so whatever logo you want to apply for this particular website so you can click on that and you can select that right so here you can select whatever image you want so these are few images which i'm having on my system 
So I'm selecting this one. Innovate yourself. So it is here. Now on the right side you can see you have a title. You can give it a name. Like right now I'm giving it a name as Innovate Yourself. And uh, there is an alternative text which you can specify in case your internet speed is slow or something. So for that instead of showing image it will show you this message as well. So, so this is what we can do. Now select it and crop it if you want otherwise you can skip the cropping and you can directly shift to the next one right so that is totally optional so if you don't want to skip it or let's say if you don't want to crop it you can directly use it as it is and you can directly move ahead right so just click on this so this is what we are done now on the top you can see there is an icon or let's say there is a logo of our website and also I've given it a name as innovate yourself. I have written a tagline for that, get it, make it. So this is how we have it. And uh, this tagline and the uh, site title is present over there, right? And this logo will be treated as a home page. So whenever you will click on this, it will be acting as a button and it will take you to the home page, right? So there is an options for that. Now over here, you can make the customization, you can do whatever changes you want because we have all the options present here, right? Now for for this, what we can do is we can simply select uh, what kind of a structure we want, what kind of a features we want to display on this particular website. So we can refer to different university websites. So you can see here are the few changes that I have made for the particular website and uh, this website which we are creating right now is uh, for a university website so as for that we need to have some more data related to that right so currently you can see i don't have much stuff for this website so for that what i need to do is i first of all need to add on uh, like let's say few posts or few blocks that i need to add over here so that i can accordingly manage that stuff over here so that it would look actually like some uh, a university website. So first of all, let me show you what kind of a university website is. Uh, so for that, let me go in here and let's search for some university website. So you can see I have a list of uh, university websites. So I can refer to any of it, whichever I want. So let's open the first one. And we'll see like how it looked like. So you can see uh, as of now what we have done we have simply added a logo we have simply added a name for it and accordingly if we are having some tagline you can add accordingly but in this case it's a uh, university of delhi so they have written it like this and over here you can see we have a uh, multiple uh, blogs and posts which we can link over here but right now we don't have the data so that's the reason we are unable to display those stuff in a proper manner right so that is why uh, we are not able to make everything but yeah i can give you an idea like from where you can actually add these kind of stuff like the footer and the headers the images and everything so that you will understand like uh, how you can add those stuff over here because I, I know like uh, it's a university website and it actually requires some time to build completely. So that's why I can give you an idea like from where you can start uh, adding those stuff. So over here you can see first of all like previously when you must have seen this there was a different layout right and the layout part I just changed uh, over here you can see where is that. It's not the one. Yeah, over here inside the theme option layout option you can click over here and uh, previously the by default one was something like this so where there you must have seen like uh, we were having uh, these blocks over here like these blog option the recent post the search and the recent comments if you want that to be present over here you can change the layout and accordingly you can see like this but right now i was thinking like i should not uh, put these stuff like this because it's a university website and i want to make it a little bit different right so that's why i just shift uh, or let's i just uh, remove that stuff and i just change the layout so if in case you want you can uh, have that stuff but this is how i can change it right and if you will see for this one here they also don't have that stuff right so that's why i just change that so that we can also try to make a very good one right
so th from here you can change the layout so read more text what do you want to show for it like uh, read more or you want to put something dot 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 like this so this thing you can do over here now it's totally up to you like how do you want to display it let's say let's not say read more let's say more right so in this way we can simply change this stuff similarly blog title what title you want to give it so right now i have given the title name as uh, innovate yourself so that's why it is like this similarly footer settings you can change this footer setting over here like uh, copyright 2022 at this so in this way i have simply put this now go back go back and uh, over here you can change the background image like currently you can see the background is completely white so if in case you want to change that background you can select from here and you can simply add whatever background you want to put so right now i don't want to change it because this white background is looking quite good so i'm okay with it so i will not change it right now now go back now in theme options we have already seen this front page so over here you can see feature slider why choose us our department this and that because it's a university website so this is giving you some options like uh, how do you have to uh, display these stuff right so there are some uh, by default uh, features that you can directly select as per a university website and you can insert it to your uh, website right so that is what we are doing so here you can select why choose us and for this you can select the icon one select the page select the icon again the page two page three page four like this so in this way we have the options and we can link it to that particular page right so this is how we can do that so right now i've done this one you can go to contact us you currently will not see anything so that's okay no problem it happens just because we don't have enough data so we cannot actually link that stuff so first thing is you need to add more data and then your website will look act exactly like a university website so you can uh, do that stuff so once you are done with all the changes that you want to make you can simply click on this publish and that publish will make the changes to your actual website and this changes will be affected in the real time means after making this publish your website will be this one means your website will adapt all the changes that you will make to this right so that is how we can have it now over here you can see have the menu so menus are coming from here you can have like this right so in this way i will click on publish so i have done that now i can go back and over here i can click on visit site so in this way you can see i have the website and i have made the changes to that now i need to add some more data then only my final website will look like a university website so this is all about it now i think you have got an idea like how you can create your own website using wordpress and the web hosting provided by the domain racer so that's all for today i hope everything is clear but if you still are facing any problem or any difficulties in understanding or uh, setting up the things then feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section and also if you are new to our channel then just click on the subscribe button so that you do not miss any videos from our channel and also we are about to upload so many videos related to the content that you have learned today so just subscribe to our channel so that you will not miss any updates from our channel so that is it for today till then bye bye and happy learning